What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing great today. I wanted to give an update on my 2019-2020 uh, deer season. I was fortunate enough on Saturday morning, opening day of gun season, to fill my 2019 Indiana buck tag. And a full disclosure before we get into this short video, I did not get that on film. Back whenever I got into self-filming a couple years ago, I told myself that I would never sacrifice the chance to shoot a buck if I had to fumble around, uh, spend some time or waste some time to get my camera adjusted and onto the buck. And that's kind of what happened Saturday morning whenever I was in the tree stand. Everything just happened uh, so quickly that I was not able to even reach over to my camera arm and grab a hold of my camcorder and swing it over to get that camera on the doe and the buck. I'll just kind of go through how that hunt developed because I know a lot of you guys have been uh, sending me questions on social media just kind of asking how the season's going. I didn't really want to go into public land on the opening day of firearm season. Uh, don't really trust a whole lot of people out in the deer woods on public land with firearms. So. I uh, went back to the property that I love where I've had a lot of luck at and this property is a 40 acre block of timber with a couple of food plots that we put in and throughout that 40 acre piece there is quite a bit of good bedding areas. I have seven preset stands on that property but there's really none on that property that sets up good for an east wind and that's what I had Saturday morning. So I decided to take my lone wolf hang on and my helium climbing sticks and I went to a location where I thought it would be good for an east wind and kind of set up on a ridge in between uh, two different buck bedding areas and really just kind of a good travel corridor where I thought there would be a lot of activity with does. So I got in there well before daylight, got all set up and it was only like 740, 745. It had only been shooting light for maybe 40 minutes, somewhere around there. And I'd already had a small buck come through, kind of bumping a doe around, watch them for a little bit. So about 15 to 20 minutes had passed and all of a sudden I heard some real aggressive grunts and I looked over and I couldn't really see anything through this thick timber, kind of thick undergrowth type stuff. So I kept an eye on it for a few more seconds and then reached for my binoculars to get a better look through there. And all of a sudden just kind of at a pretty hard trot, here comes a doe, and then some louder grunts right behind that. But they were coming at a pretty quick pace towards me. And I reached over for the 450 Bushmaster. They picked up pace a little bit. They closed the distance in, it seemed like three or four seconds, but it's probably 10 seconds or so. Uh, just got right to me. The doe actually went right past me. I probably could have dropped a rock on the back of the doe. Um, the buck must have caught my scent, maybe something like that, but it stopped probably eight yards from my tree stand, the base of my tree. Looked up, saw me up there in the tree, clearly. And he was right on that hot doe, so he wasn't going to go far from her. And he just kind of took one step back and then kind of lunged back maybe two or three yards. And then he was quartering away pretty hard, but he threw his head back up, looked back at me, looked back at the doe. Perfect quartering away shot, and it was like a 12, 13 yard shot. And of course, didn't have any shooter bucks within bow range all bow season. And then here's this buck that's a shooter to me uh, at 12 yards, staying on broadside, quarter and away, but still a pretty easy bow shot. Uh, and the rest is history after that. Squeezed the trigger. Um, he ran probably 35 yards, was pretty much plowing leaves the whole way. He was struggling. And then I was able to watch him pile up from the tree stand, which is always good. Um, I hate it that I didn't get it on video, but like I say, I never want to sacrifice the chance to shoot a buck by fumbling around and messing with the camcorder whenever it comes down to crunch time. Hopefully I'll get back out here after gun season and try to kill a doe with the bow and get, try to get that on video. So stay tuned for some more videos, but just kind of want to do a recap there and kind of close off the uh, pursuit of a buck this year for you guys. Like I mentioned, I've been getting some questions on it, just seeing how things are going. But that's where I ended up at. Really happy with this buck. It's going to be number five on the wall for me, so pretty excited about that. And uh, big thanks to my dad for helping me get him out of the woods. Where I kind of hiked into that morning, it was in a pretty tricky spot where we couldn't get um, our UTV to or the deer cart. And uh, it was a pretty tough haul out of there. So big thanks to him and big thanks to you guys as well for following along during this deer season. 
Uh, it's been a pretty crazy year just with the EHD not really having a whole lot of inventory on my private land spots but once that rut started kicking in uh, just new bucks started showing up. I actually didn't have any trail cam pictures of this buck and it just kind of shows what the rut will do. But thanks again. Hopefully I'll get a doe on film here later this season. So stay tuned for that stuff. Going to kind of switch gears here. Got a few product reviews to put out. Uh, getting into coyote hunting now. I always like to hit that pretty hard after deer season is over for me. Uh, I've got some new stuff where I can get some good footage at night, I hope. So make sure and subscribe. Stick along for that stuff. And uh, as always, good luck to all you guys out there in the deer woods still. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.